hello so today's video is going to be based off this look here um i sort of wanted something a bit bright and vibrant so it's like lots of yellows and orange if you can see past the eyelashes sort of a nude lip and a sort of different color highlight so hopefully you enjoy the look and let's jump into it like whoosh push the screen across <laughs> not one okay so i've already done my eyebrows and i've just prepped one eye no i haven't prepped one eye i've done one eye um, so I'm going to go and do this eye. So I'm going to use the Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo. So this is in the shade, I have no idea. Oh, Creme de Nude. So basically it's like the MAC soft ochre paint pot kind of thing, I think it is. So um, I'm going to take that on a brush when I can find my brush. Oh, this is the brush. I'm just going to take that on a little brush and just pat that onto the lid. I'm just gonna pat that in with my finger and then I am going to set it with the Rimmel Stay Mat just so everything's locked in place. So once that is done, I'm gonna go into the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette and I'm gonna take the yellow shade, so Star. I'm just gonna take it on a tapered blending brush and I'm gonna brush that into the crease. Then I'm going to take a more fluffy brush just to make sure it's all blended out and basically what I'm going to keep doing is I'm going to keep adding colour, blending out, adding colour, blending out until basically I'm happy with what I have got. Then I am going to pack the yellow shade all onto the lid as well. And then just blend out some more basically. Then I'm going to take my NYX concealer and I'm going to take that onto a small brush. Uh, if I can obviously find the brush again. And I'm just going to literally take a small amount and pat that onto this part of my lid. Then I'm going to go into the Kat Von D. A is it Atheist? holographic palette I don't even know if I'm saying that right and I'm going to go into pink opal which is the bottom shade I'm just going to take that on a packing brush and I'm just going to pat that all over the lid then I'm going to go into the pastel goth palette again and take the shade clementine yep which is the orange shade I'm just going to take that on a smaller this is a blending eye brush but from the elf I'm just going to take it on a smaller brush and concentrate this on the outer portion of my eye. And obviously just blend that again. And then obviously keep adding colour, keep blending until you're happy with the outcome. Be patient, it does take time. I know what I'm like, I get really impatient with things and I'm like, why is it not working? Trust me, a little bit of practice and patience. And I'm going to go back into the yellow shade, so star, and just sort of blend that along the crease a bit and take it a bit further out. So we want to make sure everything is blended so back into the blending brush just going to take it a little bit lower in the crease that orange shade sorry that we use so clementine like so so i'm going to go back into the highlighting palette the holographic palette thing and just pack a little bit more of that shadow on with my finger or that highlight shade so then it looks like so so we'll come back to the eyes later i'm going to finish the skin so i'm going to take the maybelline fit me poreless in 100. i don't know if i'm a little bit too dark for this i mean like the littlest bit turned but um actually 
it might be too light but I'll warm it up and stuff so hopefully we'll be alright if not I'll go in a tiny bit with a darker shade anyway I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender and then I'll go in and add more where I need more my body tends to be in the summer my arms are really dark because I do driving as a job I get the tanned hands tanned arm and non-tanned arm <laughs> the chuck arm they call it so I'm going to go in with the NYX concealer I'm just going to pop that under the eye oh, I do like to do this underneath foundation like I feel like I get a better outcome with it and I don't get creasing as bad but I've done it now I've done it now so I'm going to take the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush I actually really like this for blending out concealer like I will go in with the beauty blender after but I feel like I get a better job with this oh and the NYX concealer is in the shade CW03 or I think it's known as light as well I'm gonna go ahead and set that with powder I haven't got the brush out that I want I'm gonna I was gonna take the stain out but I'm not going to I'm actually gonna take the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm gonna take I'm actually gonna take this shade here which if you're asking me to pronounce is not gonna happen <laughs> everything will always be in the bottom bar Okay, so I'm just going to do the other eye, then the Bridget Nose Cupid's Bow Forehead, set that all with the powder, and then I will come back and do the rest. I was going to set everything with the Rimmel Stay Matte, but because of the matte foundation, I think I am going to leave that. So moving on to a bronzing of the skin or contouring, I'm going to go back into the Kat Von D shade on light palette, and I'm going to take this shade right here, very lightly. And just sort of contour a little bit. I am going to be bronzing up as well. And I'm going to go into the Summer of Love Triple Baked Bronzer. So this is a highlighty bronzer. Um, I didn't want to add blush or anything. Just because I feel like it would take the attention away from the eyes. So I thought a bronzed look would be much better. So I am going to go very like this. Or not. <laughs> so I am going to go into Clementine and smudge that on the lower lash line. I've got the Eco Tool. Uh, it's like a double ended brush so it's a smudge and blending brush. So I'm going to take it on the blending side and I'm going to just smudge that on the lower lash line. I'm going to take my big fluffy blending brush and just sort of run that along the lower lash line. And I'm going to take that white shade on the other side of this Eco Tool brush. So I'm going to take Skull from the palette and just pop that on the inner corners. Whoa, that is very white. I like it. So I'm going to take this Kathleen Rowland eyeliner. I think I'm saying that right. I'm basically going to line my waterline all around the perimeter. Very smart, Ellie, very smart. So I've got it on the lower part. So what am I going to do? I don't know. I'm going to blend it out, I guess. So my camera decided to cut off. But I just smoked some more orange under the lower lash line. Um, and then that's pretty much it. And I sort of smudge out the black that I had as well. And also applied from Scarborough. So what I'm going to do is I am going to apply some lashes. I'm going to apply the Peekaboo lashes in Heartbreaker. So this is what they look like. Absolutely love this lash brand. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those off camera because I'm horrendous with eyelashes. And I'll be back to do highlighter and lips. So the eyelashes are on and these are what they look like. I'm pretty sure they are on even. Sometimes... They can lay really flat and other times they can be really up. Right, so highlighter. Obviously, I'm going to go back into the Kat Von D palette. I'm going to take the shade... I'm going to take the pink one that we used. Sorry, my eyelash glue is about to roll off. 
We'll take the pink one that we use in the eyes and put that on the tops of the cheek. And then I'm going to take a little bit on the nose, just like here, and at the tip of it, or the base of it even. I really like that, even though like it's like got that pink colour. I think it's like really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some lip balm. This is the Flip Balm from Palmer's. And I'm going to go into the MUA lipstick. This is in the shade Bear, or shade number 14. Uh, this is actually such a pretty colour, like it's like your natural lip colour, just but better. So I'm just going to sort of like dot that on. And did you know, I don't know how all lipsticks do this, but it's got a little thing at the end, you twist it. Little pot of lipstick. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. And then that is the finished look, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, bye! Oh, my eyelashes coming off in that inner corner as well. So I'm going to take a damp beauty blender, which I have not dampened. All is good. So I'm going to take the... Can you see the top of my mirror? Yes, I'll zoom that in a bit. And I always go really heavy in this corner of my eye. I don't know if it's because it's like... Odds to my other ones. Like slouchy. Bam!